Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video. An unboxing video from my mate Tony Bellini. Dog Gone Deals. I'm assuming this is a company. Correct me if I'm wrong, Tony. Is this your company, Dog Gone Deals? But anyway, from Farmington, Michigan, is that MI Michigan? USA it's a matchbox garage now I uh, usually pre-open these just so that you know you, you don't watch me cut my own finger off but I think this is going to be an easier one um, I think Tony's used a whole reel of tape on this Let's get through it. Now I did kind of notice in the comment section, Tony said that he was going to send another one. So, of course, Tony, I thank you again, sir. To send one package is, is you know, I feel very fortunate um, to receive. To send two packages, well, I really hope to, uh, you know, do something good for you. Anyway, ah, <laughs> Mr. Rob, UK, open here. Very interesting. Oh wow! How cool is that? Real money. American monies. Do you know what? I've never seen American dollars in real life. I've never held them or it's strange because compared to UK money, um you know, it's very different. Very different. This almost looks like kind of play money to me. It looks like something that you play with Monopoly. Wow, look at that. So I've got three bucks. Who's this dude? Is that George Washington? I don't know. I think, is that George Washington? Correct me if I'm wrong. It is Washington. There you go, he's got his name underneath there. Washington, he was the chap that found, he was the first president of the United States, right? Some, what, 300? 400 years ago um, if you ask me who the kind of UK uh, Prime Minister was at that time I would have absolutely no idea I probably have a better understanding and knowledge of US presidents than what I do UK Prime Ministers um, I don't know that's quite sad really but look real monies and you know, of course, they're, they're it's almost worthless here in the UK. But um, I'm going to be putting this up. If you see a video a little while ago of an unboxing, I've got um, an Alabama um, number plate up on my wall. And what I'll do is actually I'll just insert uh, that footage now. So there it is on my wall. The Alabama license plate surrounded by dollars so just some other bits on the wall I've, I collect a few bits but um, trying to keep this place clean you know as things are a bit of a mess right now stretcher this way um, these signs are super old and they come out of the old Ford uh, factory in Dagenham so uh, that's quite cool. Got them up on me wall with this here and then some other bits. Huh. YouTube. This is a another channel that I do still have, but it's kind of I've killed it off. Um, so yeah, you've done something uh, amazing. 100,000 subscribers to that channel, and there's you can just see the silver plaque is on a bit of a one case. I'll just show you. Uh, the channel was called 100 Cool Ideas, but 
like I say, I've killed it off now, so. Uh, but anyway, back to the video. And then now we're back to uh, this video, and I'm going to place that in between or behind that on my wall, and uh, I think that'll look quite cool. Anyway, there's a little note here. So, so May 15th, what's the date today? It's around June, it's around June 15th, I think. So this is a, um, a month later. Hi Rob, I said I would send you some more goodies and he did promise me, so thanks again, mate. Uh, also, uh, all shop needs a shop truck. See in the box, thanks, Tony Bellini. Um, so just, just this paperwork here. Municipal Supply Company. That's cool. And I keep all my letters, and this will be going uh, with the rest of them. I'm going to put them all up on the wall because they do mean a lot to me. They really do. So I'll put this money to one side and see what we got. This appears to be quite the box full. Wow, Tony, you have filled me up here, mate. Well done. So, oh, nice. Halfway through a restoration at the moment, and I could do with these right now. So that is perfect timing. Excellent. This is a big one. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Matchbox K9 Fire Tender. I think I have one of these, but certainly not in this condition. This is in really good condition. Oh, some paint. Some more paint. Oh. This is um, obviously Tamiya Fine Surface Primer in grey. I've never had the grey before. I've had, and I use white, and I've had light grey, uh, but I've never had the grey. So this will be really interesting to see uh, what kind of finish. Uh, difference it would be with this uh, with this paint and I really appreciate that thank you mate and what do we have here very well packed TS40, oh, metallic black. That'll look nice on a custom car. Metallic black. Now, I do have something similar. This one, which is a TS14, uh, which is just gloss black, uh, which I use for, well, I painted some cars in this black, and I use this for the bases. Uh, but it would be quite nice to have this option for the metallic. So that is awesome. Right, we've, got, we've got quite a few cars here actually. First glance, as I'm looking around, everything seems to be in really good condition. See the car. Oh no, it is a car. Ah, so this is what uh, Tony said by the shop truck. Oh wow, how cool is that? So 
So this is a matchbox. 2008 International Durastar flatbed. How cool is that? That is nice. Looks brand new, so certainly wouldn't need restoring. But I think I'll be using it in a video, you know, kind of coming in, did it did. Drop the car. Very cool. You want a speedboat. This one. This is the number five Seafire. Wicked engine on there. And driver. So this driver, if needed, for like race cars, the engine. The speedboat is cool. But I'm looking at that engine thinking I could use that for a custom. Wow. Nissan and I have one of these in terrible condition. This almost looks new from 1982. So this is older than me. I was born 83 and this is beautiful. And that will be going straight into my display cabinet. A matchbox. 040 Steam Loco. Very nice. I restored a train, or rather a locomotive, recently. Ah. This is the Ford Supervan. And actually, I've got an upcoming kind of van build off video hmm maybe I'll be using this I'll put this to uh, to this side what do we have oh so that's the actual truck there oh that's cool I've never seen one of these before and a spare. That is super cool. What is that? Matchbox super fast freeway gas tanker. I don't imagine that's kind of based on like real life. I've never seen anything like that in real life. Super cool though. It drives lovely. another one in super condition and as a rollermatic one of very few that if you can see just there still got his little tab in position so and indeed still works look at that again in almost perfect condition and that's going to go straight into my display. Uh, oh, this is. So this is a locomotive. This is a coach. But when I put these together, I believe this is now a train. Correct me if I'm wrong. container so this is a uh, looking at dimensions of it this will be based on a 20 foot container and underneath here is where you pick it up with a forklift truck so here I'll have the twist locks on each corner and I know this information because for the last 17 years I have been in shipping that is my day job 
very cool. And I'm expecting, well, I say expecting, I'm hoping to see something for me to put that on within the remainder of this package. Look at this one. This is a matchbox king size number K2 Scammel heavy wreck truck. I'm missing a few tires, but that is super cool. That looked lovely, wouldn't it? Nice bit of a fresh paint job on there. Screams kind of like my mate Danny at Danny's uh, die cast disasters. He likes doing these bigger sizes. But I have to, I definitely have to have a go one day. This is nice. Days gone. Model manufacturing by a Lado. Now I did read something. What was it? Lado. Um, Lado backwards is Odell, right? And I believe he was one of the guys at Matchbox. And this was his kind of breakaway business. Although I don't know whether it's still going today. But they seem to do super quality stuff. Corgi Juniors. Very nice. I've got a big box of Corgi stuffs that... Uh, I do collect and this is a nice one and oh yeah I was gonna say I've got a few of these but none in this good good of condition so there's a roll of matics and you may or may not see on screen siren turning and I think that with the few others here today it's gonna to go straight into my display I really hope this is the matchbox because I'm really excited about this one it is a matchbox it is a Savannah RX7, 1979, Lesney products made in Hong Kong. So this, if I remember rightly, this is a RX7 FC. Those wheels, I've never seen those wheels before. And I've never seen this cast in before. But this car really excites me. In fact, I've got a set of wheels coming in the post shortly. I think will go absolutely beautiful with this car. This is in my kind of top five, I guess, exciting upcoming videos. I'm going to put this to this side. So last but not least, looks like we've got a few bits in this little package here. tape this is it is super strong and super sticky nineteen eighty three the best year Shiny that is. It can't I can't even show you it's so shiny. 
1983 Dodge Caravan made expressively for Dodge Las Vegas 1983 Wow This looks brand new You know people like to see Ferraris and they like to see Lamborghinis and This to me is beautiful. How nice is that? Red interior. That's going straight in my display. Right at the front. Beautiful. Looks like we've got another one. I'm sure this is from the early or maybe mid 70s. But it looks in wonderful condition. Planet Scout 1975. Now I do have one of these, bear with me. In green, you can see the kind of difference there. In the condition but that is wonderful and again another one going straight into my display so we've got two cars left oh wow okay what's this one so, made in England by Leslie, number 10, 1908 GP Mercedes. That really is beautiful. Compared to some of the yesteryear stuff this one appears to be of real and true age unsure of the kind of date for this one but I'm gonna guess it's an old one I'll be doing my research there appears to be a few items or pieces missing if anyone can point them out for me was there I don't think there would have been a driver but was there a windscreen here um, there's a piece here on this wheel that should go into here but then there's one this side so is that missing should there be something else on this side and then there's something broken around the back to here I don't know whether it's like a loop or you know a section around there which is a real shame but you know I can replicate that that is wonderful I haven't done anything like this before and I would certainly like to give that a go and then last but certainly not least we have oh so it's a number six ladybug so is this how it come because if you remember a few videos ago I say a few it's probably about 20 videos now oh wait a minute it's just come straight off um, I customized one of these it was in it was red I think and then I painted it yellow uh, but it wasn't called a ladybug although it's exactly the same I think it was called the drag star or something like that but that is cool anyway enough rambling 
Um, thank you, Tony, for another kind of package there. Um, I really can't kind of uh, uh, thank you enough. You know, I really do appreciate it. And there's lots of cars there that's going to go straight into my display. There's a few cars here that I'm going to um, restore. I want to do a true restoration on this one. I'm going to be doing a nice kind of custom for this one. I've already got some ideas and this too. Um, those are 100% definite. And then the other bits and pieces, I'll figure out what I'm going to do. And of course the paints, you know, they will certainly come in handy and you will be seeing those as well on the channel. Um, yeah, thanks again. And, uh, I'll speak to you all soon.